Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video in our Laravel series. We finished when we were able to delete posts. Unfortunately, also posts of our people. So let's work on that. First, I'm already logged in here. I want to create a new post. Therefore, it would be cool if I could log in as someone else. Therefore, it would be cool if I could log out. So let's implement that for to begin with. I'll start in my user controller here, where I will add a new function at the bottom, which we'll call, well, not logout, get logout. Inside this function, I will have a very complex uh, uh, expression or very complex code, and watch closely to get this right. We use of logout. So that's all. <laughs> We're logging out using this off facade, which we're importing here at the top. And done. This will log out the currently logged in user. Now all that is left to do is add a redirect to get us, well, let's say to our home page. So next thing is I want to add the route. I will do this right here below the sign in route. And it is a get route, just log out, which will use a controller, obviously, since we just created the method. You uh, not this uses, and then what will it use? Well, the user controller at get logout. This will be used, and then here we use this as logout. This will be the name of our route. Next thing is in my header, I want to include it, and I will include it here. And the easiest way to do that is to well head over to Bootstrap here under components, navbar. I'm making this very easy here. I'm just going to copy, uh, which one do I want? This part here. Just going to copy this part to position it at the right of our header. Copy this into it here. I don't need this drop down. All I need is one single link, which will say log out, and which will, will use our fresh created route, or newly created route uh, called log out. Okay, let me save this, close this and reload here. Now we got our logout uh, menu item here. Let me click this and now I'm logged out. Now I'm going to log in as someone else. Uh, I don't know what is this password, Chris? Yeah. And I'm just creating a post as this someone. And now we got mixed posts. And now it should only be able to delete, well, this post by me, by Chris and not by the other people. I see we should maybe also change the sorting of the post to have the most recent post at the top. Um, let's quickly implement that. So in the post controller where we get all our posts, all I do here is um, when I get all posts here, I'll change this, I'll not get all, I will first call order by, not, yeah, well, order by, and then we have uh, by created at, and it should be ordered descending. So this is how we order it descending. We specify by which field do we want to order, and then we can either enter desk descending or ask for ascending here. And then we just use get to get all the elements matching, well, the conditions we defined before, the select, select a part quasi, but we don't have any, therefore we select all the items, but we order them. We can't use all anymore because, well, we added something to this query builder here. Now, let me reload and now we should see that Chris post is at the top. Anyway, that's just a little fine tuning here. What I want to do is I want to first remove this buttons here, if I'm not max in this case. And second, I also want to make sure to check that if I hit delete, if I'm the user logged in, because even if I remove the buttons, I might still be able to, well, query that route or to um, try to target that route via a terminal or by directly entering the URL up here. So we have to make sure we're safe uh, in the back end as well as in the front end, so to say. Now, to begin with, with, I will start in my post controller here. In my post controller here, I will check if the user of this post equals the user who is currently logged in. If this is not the case, 
then I don't really want to delete the post. So therefore, I'm doing this right below this post variable where we fetch our post. And then I want to retrieve the currently logged in user. I do this by using the off facade. So make sure you're importing that at the top. And here I access the user method to retrieve the currently logged in user. And then I check if this is not equal to, well, the user of the post, which you can retrieve by using this user property, since we set up this relation, if you remember the last videos. If those users do not match, then I want to return a redirect back. So I don't want to delete. I'm not continuing here. And yeah, we could provide a message here, an error message. But if we get here, even though we deleted the buttons on the front page, probably you've done something fishy already. So I don't think we need to provide the best user experience here. But you might add this message and output it. So now we technically can't delete users if we're not the same user. Excuse me, posts if we're not the same user. So the next thing I want to do is in my dashboard here, I want to only show these buttons if we are allowed to delete and edit. It goes for edit as well, even though we haven't implemented it yet. So therefore I will, well, let me put this in, onto new lines, enter a new line here. I will add an if statement with my plate expression syntax. And if, and this should only be shown conditionally. So I'm going to put this inside this if statement. Make sure to also have this pipe here with you so to, that you don't have a floating pipe at the end of the like and dislike button, even though no buttons are coming after that. And then here I use the same check of user should be, in this case, it should be equal. Otherwise I'm not showing it. Should be equal to um, the user of this post we're having here. And we're accessing posts since we're looping through all our posts here. Let me save this and reload. Good, as you can see, I'm not seeing the buttons here. I can delete my own post, that's still working. Let me try to delete the post um, of Max here. To do so, I'll have a look at my database, my posts, um, ID two. I'll try to delete the post with an ID of two. I can do this uh, if you have a look at our routes by just accessing delete post and then the ID of the post. So I'm just going to copy that instead of dashboard and posted these two as we just looked it up. And well, no, I'm just taking back, taking back. Let me see if the post got deleted. No, it's still there. So our security check here is working. Now we can only delete our own posts. See you in the next videos. Bye.